Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and we're going to go back in our mint-flavored time machine to the year 1969, where we're going to uh, do another Criterion Collection review, and if you follow me over on Letterbox at Wes A-List, you'll know that I am participating in the Misfit Pond 2022 Kino Lord Challenge. And this time the challenge has asked us to watch a film directed by someone who's primarily known as an actor. So uh, the Criterion Collection does have a film that I've been wanting to check out for a while um, that I've been interested in seeing. It is number 545 in the collection, directed by Dennis Hopper. My review of the 1969 road drama, Easy Rider, coming up next. Wyatt and Billy are freewheeling motorcyclists who have successfully completed a cocaine smuggling deal from Mexico to Los Angeles. The duo plan on road tripping in search of spiritual truth to New Orleans in hopes of making it in time for Mardi Gras. On the trip, Wyatt and Billy encounter bigotry from local inhabitants of a small town, along with other travelers who live an alternative lifestyle. So what did I think of Easy Rider? I thought it's a well-made road drama. It's directed by Dennis Hopper in his directorial debut, and he'd go on to helm other films such as The Last Movie, Out of the Blue, and Catch Fire. The movie was released on July 14, 1969, and was well-received by critics and audiences alike, and was the fourth highest grossing film of 1969. Easy Rider helped spark the new Hollywood era in the early 1970s and was a historically important counterculture film acting as an anti-establishment time capsule of its time of sorts. The film certainly looks fantastic with its colorful shots of the beautiful scenic locations and desert landscapes as the characters go on this journey down the long highways. The terrific soundtrack also makes these scenes a highlight, with songs such as Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf, The Wait by The Band, and songs from Jimi Hendrix and The Birds. During their trip, Wyatt and Billy meet a rancher and his family, encounter hippies living off the land in a communal lifestyle, rednecks who are less than welcoming, and a lawyer who decides to travel with them. The characters have some interesting conversations while doing drugs. The film packs in a lot of social commentary, which is certainly powerful, but sometimes can come off a little bit heavy-handed. It's crazy how some of the issues brought to the table are still relevant today. The film also provides a lot of symbolism and foreshadowing throughout. While it's only 95 minutes, the pacing can drag at times, and there are long stretches where not much of note happens. The ending is very abrupt and surprising as well. The performances are rather standard, although Jack Nicholson is a standout in his first big break. The cast stars Peter Fonda as Wyatt, a.k.a. Captain America, the cool, quiet biker who flies the flag on his gas tank, leather jacket, and helmet, Dennis Hopper as Billy, Wyatt's paranoid hippie sidekick, and Jack Nicholson as George Hansen, the drunken lawyer with a good heart. Easy Rider was nominated for two Academy Awards, Best Original Screenplay for Fonda, Hopper and co-writer Terry Southern, and Best Supporting Actor for Jack Nicholson. In 1998, the film was put into the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. Easy Rider is an important film that I respect more than I enjoyed, but has a powerful message and great shots of Southwest America. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of... Do It. Alright, well that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, the Instagram, and Letterbox at West A List. Until next time, Troop. Out.